Hello. Warning is now. So welcome to the 365 day gaming challenge. This is the challenge where I play an update game from a kind of shame every day. And we are on day 183. And we are looking at Hot Wheels Unleashed. We've made it halfway through. Only 182 more days to go. <laughs> we are looking at this on PlayStation 5. Hopefully we're not going to get any sound glitches, we will find out. I still haven't completely sorted out capture for consoles that I'm 100% happy with, but we're going to have a look anyway. Because if you don't try, you're never going to succeed. Uh, yeah, I, I accept your conditions without even looking at them. Oh no, this is a milestone game. I didn't realise that. I have a history with milestone games, I don't like them. And we have loot boxes, do we? So I'm assuming that you can buy loot boxes. Um, which one are we going to go with? I don't know whether I even had any Hot Wheels cars uh, as a kid. Um, speed, braking power, acceleration, handling. That one looks... Oh, down the middle. We're going to go with that one. Um, we'll just go with whatever the default is. We're going to go with international. Oh no, maybe that's not miles per hour. I don't care. And we're jumping straight into a game. Accelerate with R2, yeah, thank you. Oh, we've got haptic feedbacks on the triggers. Use a drift is very important. Activate it by tapping the brake while steering. Stop putting those things up. It's a driving game. really need to have hints in driving games. You really got to time those corners right on the 
it's especially annoying that it stops the action on that. I hate that. <laughs> Typical milestone then bullshit. Really feeling it with the bloody drifting, the handling's all over the place on it. I just don't like the way Milestone does handling in their games. And I don't know why they need to make things such a pain. Boost. We've got three boosts. Across the line, we won. Fantastic. Each race will earn new coins so you can buy blind boxes. I obtained a blind box, a loot box. So. Is it possible to buy loot boxes then? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. I'm shocked. We won't be doing that. So we've got a truck builder. Quick modes. Another editor. Oh, it's for libraries. And we've got season passes as well. Really throw in all of the microtransactions at this one. We won't be buying that either. Yeah. I mean, this got really good reviews when it first came out. And then they've just piled on microtransactions, season passes and DLCs. Yeah, well, we won't be buying any of that crap, so we'll just be having a look at what you do get for your money. What have we got there? A Cadillac. Oh, that's better. It's a secret car. Can we use that one? Apparently we can. I mean, it does look quite nice.
That's a big truck there. is not easy to control. Well I am finding it a little bit easier than the other one. Final lap. A short circuit, this one. We haven't used any boosts. Our best drift was 35 meters. Why are you doing it in centimeters like that? Three thousand, yeah, so 35 meters. Very weird putting it in centimeters. Oh look. Look at all the things you could have won if you bought the season pass. It's not accidental that they do it like this. They do it. And you go, look, oh, I really want that thing. Oh, please, can I have it? No. You can't. Unless you buy the season pass. Don't fall into the trap, folks. It's all designed to get you to spend more money. It will go with that one again. I think eventually you're going to find a car that you enjoy using the most. You're probably going to stick with that one. So, what is even the point of having blind boxes to get cars that you're not going to use? It's not. Well, I suppose actually they are genuine Hot Wheels cars, I'm assuming that you can actually get these as the real thing.
one's a bit more intense. Will those barriers grow back then? I think they might. I was thinking maybe now that I've hit one, it's not going to be there anymore. Oh no! really do not want to flip the barriers because it takes the speed off massively. No, no, no. I don't know whether that was any better actually. Well, we still managed to win. That's good. Oh, well, look, we've got more Hot Wheel coins. I obtained gears. Woohoo. I mean, there's quite a lot of races to unlock by those things. Um, we're going to the basement with a pool table now. Get out of my way, you bloody thing. These corners are really tricky. I think there's a, a fine balancing that you need to do between the accelerator and the um, and the brake, especially on these big big corners. So you can start the drift, but you can you control it by inputs on the on the two. It's not quite as nice as something like Outrun Two. Sumo Digital have their handling down on. Well, I suppose it's not Sumo Digital. It's Sega. <laughs> Sega did a. Um, Good job of doing the handling in our run two. And Sumo did a good job of replicating it in the home version. So I don't think I've played the arcade version of our run two.
it's a lot more immediate in that game and this it's a lot harder to get a feel for so I think the idea of sticking with one car and learning that car is probably worthwhile Woohoo, look, we've leveled up, aren't we awesome? The daily challenges as well, they're throwing all this stuff at this. To try and keep making you come back again and again and again. Oh look, please play our game every day. You get the bonuses. All the big con, it's all psychology. Try and drive you into doing this stuff. So, what's that? Fast and line and the speed bolt. So, I'm guessing this is a time attack, is it? Let's have a look then. I think we're the only car on the circuit. Oh no, we're going off the track. So how do we get back then? Respawn. Well that's no good. do it without going off the track this time. No! We managed to get through one of them anyway. The gold of the 39, just. We didn't get the unleashed goal there. Mm, even if we'd not hit that barrier, I don't think we'd have gotten it. We obtained 40 coins. Wow. Oh, this is just a free reward. The Bat Cave. We get a blind box if we reach first place. Mm, no. Ah, oh, so these are all expansions.
Yeah, I think with all these expansions, wait for the complete edition, maybe. We'll wait for the complete edition to be discounted and then buy it. I mean, I am having some fun with this game. No, oh you little fuck. Come on, first place. I suppose it's kind of giving you clues with the colours of the track. Maybe that's real track colours. Oh, that music is really awful, though. Right? Yeah. Oh, that was close. We nearly went off the track again. another time trial right so now we've got all these coins what's in our basement in the basement you'll find various items over the course of your gaming experience to uniquely customize your basement your basement is always updated online according to your customization plans can view it mm -hmm. so we can have Check it for. Yeah, let's have a check it for. Stairs. Yeah, we'll have those stairs. Doors. Or oh, I think we'll have that door. That is obviously the best door. Oh, that costs coins, right? Furniture. How much is that? Oh, we'll leave that as it is. What about tellies? Can we get new tellies? Oh, we can have... Cool tablecloths. All cost coins. And I bet you can buy coins. Almost certainly you can buy coins. Or you can spend money on expansions.
you really wanted to. could play the arcade games. And the hobby space. Oh look, you can buy them. Come on, buy, buy our stuff. Pretty egregious, to be honest. Okay, collection. Welcome to your collection area. You can admire your cars and improve their stats. For money, probably. Well, look, look, we can buy them. Oh, they were showing these in the actual races, weren't they? It's another trick that they're doing for you. Putting vehicles in the games that you're racing against that you can't actually get. So you go, oh, I want that. Oh, I have to buy it. Jesus Christ. The Thanksgiving pack. The spend more money with Street Fighter 4 pack. 5 pack. Spend more money buying the Night Burners 5 pack. The Hardware Racing Team pack. The Monster Trucks pack. How many bloody packs are the Hardware Fun pack? DC Universe pack. Hardware Gateways pack. Jesus Christ. It's the Hardware City 5 pack, so there's four other Hardware City packs, isn't it? Jesus, the amount of... DLC in this game is unbelievable. Look, it's rare! It really is rare! It's, it's not just some algorithm and some code. It's not. It's not honest. It's actually rare. Limited offers. So here you've got another trick. This is the FOMO effect. The fear of missing out. That they're only available, look, only, only for a limited time. So spend your coins while you can. We can get a Dodge Charger Daytona for only 1200 or a Chevy 55 or Buns of Steel, wow. Or a truck. Should we get that one? We've spent some money. How about the Buns of Steel? Yeah, we'll have that as well. So we've got Quick Race, Time Attack and Split Screen. We've got a Track Builder as well. Oh, that's that. Library. Let's go back. We'll try and do that. Should we try one of our new cars? Should we? Oh bloody hell, that! It's got no handling, no acceleration, but it brakes really fast. Yeah, I bet it does. 
Where was our other one? Is that the one we bought? They all look the same, don't they? I think that was the one we got, but it's not as good as that other one. We'll give that one a go anyway. Maybe it'll be right. I don't like this as much as the other one. Oh. I don't know how we're gonna reach that in 45 seconds with this car. We're going to have to use the speed boost. Just, I think we just got there. Four point three seconds to spare. So yeah, you've got to really use that boost if you want to get these uh, these time trial ones. Oh look, we got a blind box. So we've got all these blind boxes, but I've no idea how to get to our blind boxes. Oh, there we go. Look push the triangle button if I just look on my screen and I might even see it. No, I don't want to buy it. Why is my first option buy? Wow. A toaster car. An exotic car. It's rare. No, it really is. It's rare. It's common. But it's got better handling. We can buy one for 500 coins. Mantle. Yes, I am. Why did we need a animation on that? The Ford Mustang. Wow. Okay. So if we go to our collection then, and we can upgrade stuff. Yes. What else can we upgrade? We can upgrade our dodge. No, we can't. We don't have enough of those other ones. Do we have enough to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Just starting. 
awesome, right? So now we have all the upgrades. A legend, oh, it is a legendary one, wow. Let us try a legendary kind of because that's bound to make us win better. I never actually looked to see if you can change the view. It is legendary, it's legendary. Underground. A, not a not a uh, it's a big long track a point to point track that's what I was trying to think of And another one. Ooh. Earning all the trophies now. I wish you could go up further just to see the other little bits. It's a bit annoying that you can't. Freestyle Paradise. But we've tried that one. Let's try our winning formula. The only thing I find with the PlayStation 3, uh, 5 pad, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 5 pad, is my trigger finger gets very achy with the um, force feedback haptics. I mean, you can turn it down, but it definitely takes more effort with the haptics on 
Lost where the trap went then. Yeah, you, you kind of break and then you have to catch the slide with the accelerator. It's cool. There's quite a bit of subtlety to it actually. That you don't pick up on straight away. So I don't think the handling is quite as bad as it initially thought, felt, but I think it very much depends on the car that you've got. Some are definitely easier to do than others. But you can see you can upgrade them. So maybe they all just feel like each other in the end. Just not the canes either, why not? Skin. Boss races. Didn't we do time attacks? Why? Hmm. The Gravity Workshop. You've stumbled upon your first secret, yet another trap laid by the evil bosses. I said that each secret comes with a clue and we'll help you figure out how to unlock it. Be careful though, as some secrets can only be unlocked by progressing through the Hot Wheel City Rumble. Complete the reckless driving event using the Bone Shaker vehicle. Where's the reckless? We haven't even unlocked that yet then. No. Should we use that one for giggles? 
see if we can do it. chances of winning with this car are very slim indeed which means it's kind of pointless having it as a car really like a Scooby-Doo van but I'm guessing that's going to be a, a DLC one. Well maybe as long as we don't make an error. We did manage to win with that car. Well, maybe I'll take back what I said. I'll say this, that wasn't very easy with that car. Not very easy at all. But it's doable. Oh, did we just level up to level 2 of the season pass? Is that a boss? The time has come, you will face your first boss. Alright, well, let us have a look then at the boss. And we're going to use our exotic car.
Captain. So it's a two minute lap. Completely lost track of where we are now. Final lap. Should we go the other way this time? I think we've gone the um, to the right on all the other laps, so let's try to the left.
I don't get that little gravity bit though. Mitchin away between first and which means we didn't win it. So we wasted six minutes of our life on it. Oh well. well that has been the three hundred and sixty-five day gaming challenge. This has been day one hundred and eighty-three and this has been Hot Wheels Unleash. Do I think this is a good game? It's not bad. Do I think you should pay more than twenty quid for it? Absolutely not. Given how it's stacked full of DLCs and microtransactions and season passes. No. Don't be paying a lot of money for games like this. They're just going to stuff you for more and more money. Tell them to take a spin on your middle finger. There's just, just no need for it. Just If you make a good game, people are going to pay for it. There's... there's you don't need to trick them into spending more money. I, and that's what I hate about all this microtransaction bollocks. Loot boxes and FOMO and all the rest of it. So, shame on you, Milestone, for doing that. And making what could be a really good game worse. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow with another game from my kind of shame so until then i hope you have a pleasant day and i will see you later